Hey, there's no ordinary voice of spiritual ventriloquism. You're listening to the dummy himself. Um, now, uh, in this video on hose, hose selection, uh, we did the last video, I mean, on hose selection. This video, I want to show you all how to properly sharpen a hoe. What you're going to need, and, and honestly, you should never go out in the garden without this right here, this file. This is a number two bastard hot file. This one might be a little finer of a, of a grit. Uh, but anyway, uh, you need a, a flat file. You should have it in the garden with you. You should sharpen your hoe continually. You could actually, if you were gardening full time, you could wear out a hoe in just a few short years just from the sharpening. They're not meant to last forever. And a dull hoe is going gonna, is gonna to kill you because you're going to be doing this kind of crap all the time. You know, that's not how you hoe. When you hoe like this, you're doing it the wrong way. Now, sometimes you do have to take a chopper too. There's no doubt. I'm, I'm not going to say that's exclusively true. But the idea is on how to sharpen a hoe, okay? What you want is you want to just clean up the front edge of the hoe about like that. And then this isn't a number two bastard. What you want is a number two bastard file, okay? So anyway, you just clean up the front of that edge, okay? But that's not the most important edge to, to, to clean up. The most important edge to clean up is this back side. Now you need to be careful when you do this because uh, it knocks some of dang dirt off here. You need to be careful when you do this because you know you don't want to run your finger into a sharp edge of a hoe. That would suck. Okay, but the idea is is just kind of flat file the back at just a slight angle. I should have gotten a number two bastard. This is more of a, of a finished file. So anyway, what it does is it helps put a better edge on there. And a better edge means less effort per stroke. And you're going to be doing plenty of them. I mean, eventually this will get it sharp, but it'll take a whole lot longer. Uh, but anyway, yeah, now see it's starting to sharpen up good. That's how you sharpen a, a file, okay? Or a hoe. Sharpen it with a file. Then you can come along here, all right? And then it, it makes it easy to scrape off the weeds while you're in the, in the weeding process, okay? That's the importance of a hoe that's sharp. A sharp hoe is a happy hoe. And, well, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, because uh, we were having that discussion this morning, laughing about the word hoe uh, on Facebook. So, that's what inspired me uh, to do this video. So, y'all kind of know, same thing here. Same thing here on this cultivating hoe. Get on the back side. Give it some licks. And you can go all the way up. Because there's time. Do the same thing there. Here's a scraper hoe. This is a stirrup hoe or a, an exclusive. That's the only function for this hoe. Really can't do nothing else with it. But scrape weeds. Basically you're wanting to cut just under the surface of the ground. Okay. All right, now, uh, again, we're gonna do this side because this is the side you use. You can do the other side because sometimes you may wanna do this. You may wanna push it, you know, rather than pull. You may wanna push it. So both sides can be sharpened, but the most important side is this side that's facing the handle. And then turn it over. And I use, when I, when I sharpen the hoe, I push forward, but I also drag across at the same time. Like that. 
I mean, you could do it like that. But sometimes with a with a like a number two bastard file, you get a better bite on. Now that sharpened up really nice. That's what's nice about these hoes. They sharpen real quick because there's not a lot of material you're moving against, uh, and and the results are are quite remarkable. Like there, you know. Anyway. Right here, and like I said, you can get up close to the plant with it. And when it's sharp, oh, it makes a difference. It makes the work so much easier and so much quicker. And see, you can get right up against that plant as long as you don't bump hard against the plant. That's the idea. So, anyway, hope these are uh, helpful videos out there for you. Uh, this uh, video does not, by no means constitute professional advice. I'm just a, a country boy, a hillbilly, and uh, it's the best you got right now. Shalom.